Okay, in this video I'm going to have a look for an EGR map in the EDC16 dump that I've got here from the say it lay on 1.9 PD. I'll just have a little scroll through, see if we can spot anything really obvious. Now there's one coming in that could be. Let's just use a scroll button. I'll just scroll in the mouse button across. Um, looks like we might have three, doesn't it? Have we got any more on the side of that? There's something, uh, something else there. That doesn't look the same. So it looks like we might have three. And in fact, back this way, we've got some other odd-looking maps which might well be connected with that. But we'll we'll stick with what we know so far. If you've been looking at the EDC 15 videos, so what I'll do is I'll have a closer look at that one. Right, what have we got here? What does any of this look like? That look like revs per minute? I think that probably is engine speed. So let's go for engine speed in revs per minute. Uh, we don't need to change anything down here, so I'll say that's OK. Now this is presumably injection quantity. I'll just call it IQ for now. That's probably milligrams per stroke. And if it is, this will be 0 0.01, and we might want, um, let's have a look, I'll go for just one point of precision at the moment, that will do me. Right now, if that's the EGR map, then this should be mass airflow, so it will probably peak at somewhere around about a thousand, that sort of area, so 920 would seem a reasonable figure. So, we were going to call this an EGR map, just in case, won't we? Give it a name. I would say the output looks like it might be mass airflow. It's probably milligrams per stroke. This probably needs to be 0 0.1. I doubt we need any precision, so I'll ignore that for now. Let's have a look. That gives me some reasonable figures. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go for that one for the moment. I think that one would be okay. Now let's have a look. Is this the same? Uh, that one we decided would be engine speed. And then we want to have revs per minute. Don't need to change anything else. Let's have a look there. We decided that would be injection quantity. So I'll just call that IQ. Milligrams per stroke, and we'll use 0.01, and we'll go for one degree of precision. Let's have a look. That seems reasonable. We decided that that was our EGR map, oh, and if I press the right key, it's probably milligrams per stroke. And down here we went for 0 0.1. And that looks pretty much like the last one did, so that seems reasonable. And then we've got what is probably another one there. So we've got three of these. There's our engine speed again. Uh, call that revs per minute. I think everything else on there is okay. This one we were going to call injection quantity. Oops. Minigrams per stroke. 0 0.01. 1 degree. Or 1 point after decimal point. And then this one, well, we decided that was going to be the EGR map. I think this is math flow. I'm guessing it's milligrams per stroke, and I want 0 0.1 to make the figures look reasonably sensible, and that seems similar. Now it's possible, of course, that these three are the same. Without doing an absolute direct comparison, I can't be sure, but if we... This one, let me... Sometimes it plays up when you're trying to get two open side by side, but... They are similar, are they? They look pretty similar to me. Um, I could be wrong, but they look fairly similar. Uh, well, I won't do a direct comparison at this moment. Right, now, 
there again is a difference between the EDC 15 and EDC 16 then because the ED 15s usually have one EGR map and it looks like we've got three possibly others as well because there's something odd down here these all look vaguely like they might be to do with airflow and there's something after that as well is there that's um, there's some strange looking maps there which might be worth looking at in a minute but there we go that's our EGR maps so we found three EGR maps I'll just clear those right I'll stop that one there